All right, we're going to be making some chicken noodle soup. You want to get started with your vegetables. This recipe is going to use three carrots. So you can peel those first using a vegetable peeler. If you don't want to peel them, uh, that's fine. Just make sure that you scrub them really clean first. After you're done peeling, clean up your cutting board so you can move on to your next part. So you want to cut each end off of the carrot and discard those pieces. You want to do the same thing with your celery. So two pieces of celery, cut off each end. And then you're going to be using one half of an onion. So peel off the outside layers of that onion. Slice through the onion and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Try to keep your pieces all about the same size so that they cook at the same rate. Next, your celery. You're also going to cut those into bite-sized pieces. you curve your fingers, that's going to make everything safer and you're less likely to cut yourself. So push the celery aside and move on to your carrots. Cut the carrot in half And then cut it again so that you have a nice flat surface to chop up your carrots. Since carrots are round, it can be kind of difficult to get those not moving all over your cutting board. So cutting those in half to give you a nice flat surface will make that easier. Go ahead and chop those carrots into bite-sized pieces as well. All the vegetables you want to be in bite-sized pieces. Since this is a soup, you don't want to have big pieces and small pieces. All your pieces all about the same size. that top of the carrot is a little bit too large, you can always make more cuts. So you're going to keep your carrots and celery together and your onions separate for now. You're going to heat a large pot with about two tablespoons of oil. Once that is hot, you can place your onions into the pot. Use a spoon to stir those up and get everything coated in oil. You can also break up the larger pieces so that those can get started cooking as well. Let the onions cook and give them a stir every minute or so. 
Now would be a good time to season them with salt and pepper. And cook the onions for about four to five minutes or until tender. Next, you're gonna add one clove of minced garlic. You can use the jarred or the fresh kind of garlic. Either is fine. Give that a stir to combine. And then that will cook for about one more minute. Next, you're gonna add your carrot and your celery into the pan. Stir everything up. You're also going to add six cups of chicken broth. You can use canned chicken broth, chicken broth from a carton, or chicken bouillon that you rehydrate. You can add one bay leaf. Next, you're gonna be adding your chicken. One pound of chicken thighs or chicken breasts are good for this recipe. I use boneless chicken thighs for this. Set that aside and wash your hands really well. Raw chicken can make you sick. You can add your seasonings, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme or Italian seasoning. Give everything a stir, make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. Turn up the heat so that you can bring the pot of liquid to a boil. Once that is boiling, cover it with a lid and that can simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Once your chicken is cooked, remove that from the pot and set it aside on a cutting board or a plate to cool down. Tongs are great for this or a slotted spoon would work too. Turn off the heat and then add your noodles to the pan. About one and a half cups of egg noodles, which is equal to about four ounces. Give that a really good stir to make sure that your noodles are not sticking. And now would be a good time to remove the bay leaf so you don't forget.
place the lid on there and let it stand covered for 15 to 20 minutes. While you're waiting for the noodles to cook, you can chop or shred the chicken into bite-sized pieces. It's, base, it's best to wait for it to cool, otherwise it's going to be really hot to handle. After 15 to 20 minutes, you want to taste to see if your pasta is cooked all the way. The only way to see if it is done and all the way cooked is to taste it. If it is cooked, you can go ahead and add your chicken into the soup. thing to do is going to be to season to taste with some lemon juice, salt, and pepper.